Hello everyone! Welcome back to Talk to Me in Tagalog. In this video, we will learn how to use the words daw and raw as requested by one of our subscribers. So what do you mean by the word Dao? Dao is the Tagalog equivalent of he or she said, they said, it is said, reportedly, or allegedly. Rao is the variant of Dao which has the same meaning. So now we know that Dao and Rao are the same. So when do we use Dao and when do we use Rao? Here's a simple explanation. Use Dao if the preceding word ends with a consonant. For example, we have the word Kailan, meaning when. Kailan ends with N, so we use Dao. Kailan Dao. Kailan Dao. Another example is Bakit, which means why. Bakit ends with a T, so we use Dao. Bakit Dao. Bakit Dao. And then we have ikaw, meaning you. Ikaw ends with a double U, so we add dao. Ikaw dao. Ikaw dao. For words ending in vowels, you should use rao. For example, the word ito, which means this. Ito ends with an O, so we use rao. Ito rao. Ito rao. Another example is the phrase Salinggo, which means on Sunday. Salinggo raw, since linggo ends with an O. The last one is isa-isa, which means one by one. Isa-isa raw, isa-isa raw. I hope that the difference between daw and raw is now clear to you. In English, if we want to repeat what someone else has said, we usually use a special formulation called indirect or reported speech. In Tagalog, reported statements or questions are marked by the words daw and rao. Take a look at the first sentence. Lagi akong kumakain ng lechon, sabi niya. Lagi means always. Ako is I. Kumakain is eat or eating. Lechon is a roasted pig and sabi niya means he or she said. Lagi akong kumakain ng lechon, sabi niya. I always eat lechon, she said. This is a direct speech because we put the exact words of the speaker in speech marks. To answer the question, what did she say, we have to switch to reported speech. Remember the Dao and Rao rule? Lagi ends with an I, so we use Rao. Lagi Rao. Pay attention to the changing of pronouns between the Tagalog direct and reported statements. Ako became siya in reported speech. But you don't have to worry about the verb tense because in Tagalog reported speech, the verb tense remains the same. The present tense kumakain is used on both direct and reported speech. So let's now focus on the word rao. Rao is placed right after the first word of the direct speech. Rao in this example is the equivalent of she said that and then the rest of the sentence. Lagi rao siyang kumakain ng lechon. She said that she always ate lechon. Let's study the next sentence. Sabi ni Gary sa akin, pupunta tayo sa Cebu sa lunes. Sabi means told. Sa akin is uh, to me, pupunta is will go, tayo is we, sa Cebu means to Cebu, and sa lunes is on Monday. Sabi ni Gary sa akin, pupunta tayo sa Cebu sa lunes. Gary told me, we will go to Cebu on Monday. Again, this is a direct speech because we are putting Gary's exact statement in quotation marks. To answer the question, what did Gary tell you, you have to switch to reported speech. 
Sabi ni Gary sa akin, pupunta raw kami sa Cebu sa lunes. Gary told me that we will go to Cebu on Monday. Did you notice that the word raw is placed right after pupunta which is the first word of the direct statement? It's because you're now converting the direct speech into a reported speech. You might be wondering why tayo and kami are different although they both mean we. Tayo in the direct statement means you and Gary. Since you're talking to a third person in the reported speech who is not going with you and Gary to Cebu, you should use the pronoun kami to exclude that third person when you repeat what Gary has told you. To better understand tayo and kami, we have videos about Tagalog pronouns in this channel. Please check them out. Let's now go over the third example. Our direct speech is, Dumating si Andrew kagabi, sabi ni Jeff. Dumating is arrived and kagabi means last night. Dumating si Andrew kagabi, sabi ni Jeff. Andrew arrived last night, Jeff said. To answer the question, what did Jeff say? We will switch to reported speech. Jeff said Andrew arrived last night. Dumating ends with a consonant, so we are using daw. Dumating daw. Dumating daw si Andrew kagabi, sabi ni Jeff. Jeff said Andrew arrived last night. Here's an interesting application of daw and rao. We have four characters here. The ones on the left are Garima and Ajay while those on the right are Grandma and Grandpa. Garima and Ajay will introduce themselves, while Grandma will ask Grandpa some questions. Let's hear what Garima has to say. Hello, ako si Garima, dalawang putlimang taong gulang. Taga Croatia ako, pero nagtatrabaho ako bilang nurse sa Prague. Ikakasal ako sa ikawalo ng Mayo sa taong ito. Kinakabahan, pero masaya ako, syempre. Did you get what she said? Let me translate it for you. Ako si Garima, meaning I am Garima. Dalawamput lima is 25. Taong gulang is like years old, 25 years old. Taga Croatia ako, meaning I am from Croatia. Pero is but, nagtatrabaho means working. Bilang is uh, as. Ikakasal is uh, set to wed or will get married. Ikawalo means on the 8th. Mayo is May and sa taong ito means this year. Kinakabahan means nervous. Masaya ako is I'm happy and syempre means of course. So kinakabahan pero masaya ako syempre means I'm nervous but of course I'm happy. Now let's meet the groom. Hi, kumusta? Ako naman si Ajay. Tatlongpong taong gulang mula sa bansang Slovenia. Abogado ako sa isang law firm sa Prague. Sa Old Town Square ang handaan pagkatapos ng kasal namin ni Garima. Did you understand, Ajay? If not, here's the translation. Kumusta means how are you? Ako naman si Ajay means I am Ajay. Tatlumpu means 30 and mula is from. Bansa means country. So it means hi, how are you? I am Ajay, 30 years old, from Slovenia. Abogado means lawyer. Handaan is reception or wedding reception. Pagkatapos is after. Kasal is wedding and namin means hour. So Ajay is a lawyer in a law firm in Prague. He said that the wedding reception will be at the Old Town Square right after the wedding ceremony. Now let's take a look at grandma's questions. Here, she's asking Grandpa some details that she heard from the bride and the groom. Ilang taon na raw si Garima? Ilang taon na raw si Garima? The word ilan means how many, but since it's followed by taon, which means year, the phrase ilang taon means how old. How old did Garima say she was? Grandpa's answer is also in the reported speech. Dalawamput limang taong gulang na raw siya. She said she was 25 years old. Grandma's second question is, Taga saan daw siya? Taga saan daw siya? Where did she say she was from? Grandpa's response is, Taga Croatia raw siya. 
taga Croatia raw siya. She said that she was from Croatia. Grandma asked again, Ano raw ang trabaho niya sa Prague? Ano raw ang trabaho niya sa Prague? What did she say her job was in Prague? Answer, nurse daw siya. Nurse daw siya. She said she was a nurse. Kailan daw siya ikakasal? Kailan daw siya ikakasal? When did she say her wedding would be? Answer, sa May 8 daw siya ikakasal. Or you may just simply say, sa May 8 daw. She said that her wedding would be on May 8. Kinakabahan daw ba siya? Kinakabahan daw ba siya? Did she say she was nervous? Answer, oo, pero masaya raw siya. Oo, pero masaya raw siya. Yes, but she said she was happy. Question number six. Slovakian daw ba si Ajay? Slovakian daw ba si Ajay? Did Ajay say he was Slovakian? Answer, hindi. Slovenian daw siya. Hindi. Slovenian daw siya. No, he said he was Slovenian. Inhinyero raw ba siya? Inhinyero raw ba siya? Did he say he was an engineer? Hindi. Abogado raw siya. Hindi. Abogado raw siya. No, he said he was a lawyer. Saan daw ang handaan nila? Saan daw ang handaan nila? Where did they say the wedding reception would be? And Grandpa's answer is, Sa Old Town Square daw. Sa Old Town Square daw. This is a short answer because we already omitted the pronoun. We are simply stating the location of the reception and the word daw to indicate that it's a reported speech. But you may also add the word gaganapin which means will be held. Sa Old Town Square daw gaganapin. They said that it will be held at the Old Town Square. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Salamat po!